In the last video, we took a look at the best song from every Mega Man game, 1 through 11, and since I do make videos on the Mega Man X series now, apparently I thought it would be a good idea to take a look at the best song from every Mega Man X game, X through X8. And by take a look at, I mean take a listen. Mega Man X is well known for being the extreme upgrade to the original Mega Man games and the music is one of the main contributors to this reputation. The title theme represents this perfectly with the heavy metal inspiration and just by having such a high energy start to the game. In the last video where we looked at the original Mega Man game soundtrack, the title themes always ended up being a good representation for the style of that game's music so this whole idea isn't anything new. Also, if you haven't watched that video yet, you're a scoundrel! The password theme is also super iconic but I can't imagine many people listening to this on their iPod Touch. The opening stage theme, on the other hand, is a certified banger. This theme establishes out the gate that Mega Man X is not messing around. Instead of being inspired by classic rock like the original games, this is inspired by heavy metal. Or at least that's what I read online. I don't know that much about music. But regardless of your musical education, you should be able to tell that the magnitude of intensity for Mega Man X is a few orders higher than the classic Mega Man games just from this track alone. The stage select also has a similar intense feeling while also being a little bit more relaxed since you are just choosing a stage and not actively destroying Mavericks. Speaking of Mavericks though, they have some of the best themes on the entire Super Nintendo, so let's take a listen to how they sound. Launch Octopus's theme is one I don't hear many people talk about, but I can't understand why. I guess maybe it's just overshadowed by some of the other songs in this game just because the soundtrack is so legendary, but that doesn't feel fair to old Launch Octopus because this theme is amazing. I guess it doesn't really sound like a water level, but if you ask me, that's actually a good thing. Chill Penguin's theme on the other hand certainly sounds like an ice level and it does not disappoint in any capacity. This is one of the more iconic Maverick themes in this game and I'm sure you're able to tell why. I guess my only complaint about this song is that the loop feels kinda short but you know a track is good when the only complaint is that it's not longer. Flame Mammoth somehow has yet another banger theme song and thank god for that because if this song was not as good as it was I probably would have gone insane years ago trying to get that stupid buster upgrade. You know the one. I'm not sure if it sounds like a fire level theme song but I I wouldn't say that it doesn't sound like a fire level theme song, if that makes sense. I would say it does somehow fit with the conveyor belts and the platforming sections, which I know makes zero sense at all whatsoever, but that's just how I feel, guys. Leave me alone. Sting Chameleon's theme is not as intense as the last couple we've looked at, but it's still nothing to sneeze at. Unless, of course, you have allergies to plants, in which case you just might. Regardless of its lack of intensity, it's still an amazing track and one that I feel like fits the theme of the stage pretty well. Plus, you can't have every single theme from this game be super intense, otherwise your ears would just get exhausted. Spark Mandrel's theme does not care at all about how exhausted your ears might be though, and neither will your ears after hearing it. It does feel a little bit weird that a song this amazing and upbeat is on a stage that feels a little bit slower and easier than some of the others, but that doesn't really matter, I think we all still love this one. Armored Armadillo's theme has a much different feel than a lot of the other ones in my opinion, but it honestly seems to fit the stage the best out of all of them. This isn't my favorite track or anything, but I still enjoy listening to it every time I reset the stage for the Hadouken upgrade. Storm Eagle stage, on the other hand, may be the single most iconic Mega Man X song of all time, and for good reason. This song has no right going as hard as it does, but I'm certainly not going to complain. It even seems to be really fitting for this large and open level, which is also fitting for Storm Eagle himself, since he's a bird and birds fly around in large open spaces outside. Moving on to the Sigma stages, we have a very cinematic sounding song to introduce X to the final part of the game. The first Sigma stage does feel a little bit less intense than some of the other Maverick themes, but at the same time, it does a great job at establishing the gravity of taking on Sigma's fortress, which goes pretty well with X literally having to look over a cliff to see the fortress he's about to take on. The Sigma stage 2's theme sounds even cooler and is more fitting since Zero was just murdered by vile and cold blood. Well, I guess Yes, technically he did that to himself, but I'm not allowed to reference that kind of action on YouTube. Somehow, this theme manages to convey the feelings of both confidence and the despair of losing Zero at the same time, though I'm not sure how Capcom's sound team managed such a feat, but at this point in the game I guess tracks of this quality should be expected. The Sigma Stage 3's theme really starts setting the tone for getting closer to the end. I don't enjoy this one as much as the other two Sigma themes we've heard, but it's undeniably fitting and sets a really cool mood. It also kinda sounds like it belongs on the Doom soundtrack, which is another cool Super Nintendo 
game known for having great music if you were somehow unaware. The Sigma Stage 4 takes it a step further though as you climb up this vertical hallway to meet your doom, or at least to meet Sigma's dog. This isn't one I would ever listen to with AirPods, but it's undeniably a good track for this level, so you gotta respect it. The ending theme is also pretty good, but I gotta admit, it does sound a bit underwhelming after hearing every other song in this game, but it's not because this song is bad at all. It's not, by the way, it's not bad, it's good. It just so happens that every single other track in this game are some of the greatest Super Nintendo compositions of all time. Again, obviously the ending theme is not bad, I'm not trying to say it is, but the ending themes from Classic Mega Man seemed better for some reason. But if you want to see a video on the best song from every Classic Mega Man game, you're in luck because I've already made that video. But we all know the Mega Man X soundtrack is amazing and that's not why you're here. You're here because you want to know the best song from Mega Man X, right guys? That is why you're watching, right? Well, the best song for Mega Man X is actually Boomer Kuwanger's theme. I know this is maybe a little bit unpopular of an opinion just because the majority of Mega Man X fans prefer Storm, Eagle, or Spark Mandrel's theme, and those are both amazing tracks for sure, but this one is just on another level. Which is funny since it's, uh, it's a tower with multiple stories, or in other words, multiple levels. <laughs> Isn't that funny, guys? Boomer Kuwanger's theme has no right to being as good as it is, but on top of being one of the best sounding songs in all of Mega Man X, it's even fitting to the gauntlet of a vertical climb that this stage is. It feels like the more you progress, the more the music encourages you to keep going so that you can take on Boomer Kawanger himself. I'm sure some of you guys in the comment section will disagree with me, and that's totally fine because Mega Man X is chopped full of amazing songs. But if you're asking me, I'd be lying if I didn't say that I thought Boomer Kawanger's theme was the best song from Mega Man X. Mega Man X2 certainly has a lot to live up to as far as its soundtrack goes, but somehow I'd say it managed to do it. The title theme is a great example of this because while you could say Mega Man X had the better title screen, you can't say this one is bad. Well, I, I guess you can, but you would be dumb and wrong. Kinda like how I was wrong about this being the title theme since technically this is the prologue theme or something and the title screen is like a 15 second sound, that's still pretty good, but whatever. In general, Mega Man X2 soundtrack does have a different feel to it than Mega Man X's, so a lot of this is going to be subjective, but I'm gonna say it. I might like Mega Man X2 soundtrack even more than Mega Man X1. Bar for bar, Mega Man X might have the most bangers and the least amount of flops, but the highs of Mega Man X2 just barely pass the highs of Mega Man X in my opinion. But let's take a listen to the songs before I get assassinated for saying such things on the internet. The intro stage of this game is another banger that sets the tone for what's about to come extremely well. It's hard to say if this one is better than Mega Man X's intro stage, but it is at the very least just as good. Plus, I think I just like those trumpet and guitar sounds a little bit more in the Mega Man X2 sound font than the ones for Mega Man X1. The stage select theme on the other hand is one I am not a fan of. It's obviously not bad, but it's a little bit too heavy without enough metal for my liking. Starting off with Wire Sponge, since I normally start off with him in the actual game, we have a pretty decent track that's a lot more laid back than what we're used to for Mega Man X1. Despite being kind of laid back, it's far from boring and it still sounds amazing. It even has a bit more variety than what we're normally used to hearing, which is a big plus. This obviously is not my favorite Maverick theme by any means, but if it is your favorite Maverick theme, that's totally fine, even if you aren't subscribed. Wheel Gator's theme, on the other hand, is undeniably a banger, and if you don't think so, then you're dumb. Unless you're subscribed, of course, then obviously you're entitled to your own opinion. I really like this song, though, and I think it's a perfect fit for a level that is literally a giant tank ravaging through some poor city. This track just has an evil or malicious feel to it, on top of being fun to listen to, which is obviously super appropriate for a stage like this, like I just said. Bubble Crab's theme, on the other hand, is almost the complete opposite as far as tone goes because this is a super laid back track which you might think would be boring but nope this is one of the best tracks in the entire series it's so good in fact that they even remade this track in Mega Man X5 which I don't believe they've done with any of the Mega Man X1 songs if I'm not mistaken unless you count Maverick Hunter X which I don't it's even fitting for being a water level while still being a banger which is an extremely rare combination that we should appreciate while we have the chance we may not get to see another banger water theme like this for another hundred years or so flame stacks theme brings the intensity right back up to 100 though as you scale a literal volcano that erupts lava as you're inside of it on the way to take this guy down. Not only does this song fit the stage extremely well, but it also does a great job of flexing Mega Man X2's superior sound font on all the gamers who dare take on this stage. Morph Moss theme once again tones things down a little bit but is still fun to listen to and fits the stage really well. It kind of sounds like a Mega Man X1 track at first but quickly reminds you what game you're playing once the guitar comes in. It's not my favorite Maverick song by any means but it is beautiful which is great 
great since Morph Moth is a beautiful butterfly. Magnus Centipede's theme is one of the most determination-inspiring songs to ever grace the Super Nintendo speakers. It almost sounds like it belongs in a Sigma Fortress stage, which is ironic considering the last Sigma Fortress actually uses Magnus Centipede's level, but not its theme. Crystal Snail's theme is very pretty at the beginning, and even somehow sounds like I would imagine crystals would sound like if they were an instrument, which makes zero sense, but whatever. And I will say though, this song does kind of get on my nerves when I'm trying that stupid ride armor jump over and over again, but that's probably just personal bias. Overdrive Ostrich's theme probably sounds the most unique out of all of these for some reason, but it still does a great job at fitting the level it was made for. This song somehow manages to both fit the vibe of a desert while also still being an upbeat Mega Man X song, which is not only unique, but also pretty impressive. It's still not my favorite song from this game, or even my favorite Maverick song, but I would have felt bad if I didn't mention it. But it's time to move on to the Sigma Fortress, I mean, uh the X Hunter Fortress. And this first theme really sets the tone for what's to come. In the original Mega Man X, they took a more determined and cinematic approach for the first Fortress theme to properly set the tone, but in this game, they just raised the intensity up to 101 to remind you what your main mission is. I guess my only complaint is that it's a bit too short, but I don't think that's a valid complaint since I'm just asking for more. The next X Hunter stage is a little bit worse in my opinion, but it's undeniably fitting for what's going on in the game. This song was also remixed in Mega Man X6 for Gates Lab, which once again just goes to show how great Mega Man X2 soundtrack is as a whole. But if you're still not convinced about Mega Man X2 soundtrack being just as good as the original, let me present to you the best song for Mega Man X2, Zero's theme. This is by far one of the greatest themes in all of Mega Man X, and the fact that it only plays when you fight Zero, who's both your friend that you look up to and your superior in terms of power at this point is absolutely insane. This song is so good that I actually go out of my way to avoid rebuilding Zero just so I can fight him while listening to this music masterpiece. Like I've been saying, I still love Mega Man X1 soundtrack, but songs like this in Mega Man X2 really make me question why X2 soundtrack doesn't seem to get enough love, because if this song was in Mega Man X1, it might still be the best song from that game. But I've talked about this enough already, so let's wrap it up and officially decide that Zero's theme is the best song from Mega Man X2. Mega Man X3 soundtrack seems to get the least amount of love from the original trilogy of X games, and I think that's completely ridiculous. I'm not sure I would say this is the best soundtrack, but I do think it is just as good as the others at the very least. A great example of this is the intro stage. This intro stage theme is, in my opinion, the best intro stage theme we have ever seen in a Mega Man X game so far. I guess I would say I do prefer Mega Man X2 sound font in general, but the way Capcom uses Mega Man X3 sound font is just masterful and a treat for all of our ears to enjoy. The stage select theme is once again, not my favorite, but it is probably the best one we've heard so far. Taking a look at what the Mavericks have to offer, though, let's start with Blast Hornet. Just like the majority of Mega Man X1 songs, this one is super intense and lets you know really quickly that you're about to deal with some shenanigans. This isn't at all my favorite theme from this game, and I'm honestly not even a huge fan of this one, but I still think it's a great composition and fits the level well, so I don't want to leave it out. Blizzard Buffalo theme, on the other hand, is one I'm a big fan of. It's a great theme for a nice level, of course, to the point where I think anyone who's never played a Mega Man next game could probably still guess this one was from an ice level. Weirdly, I do think Chill Penguin's theme is better sounding, but this one is a lot more fitting for the level. And even if Chill Penguin has the better theme, I still love how chill and relaxed this song is, especially when paired with the night sky and the street lights laid throughout the level. But moving on to Gravity Beetle's theme, we have one of the most uplifting songs we've heard in this video so far. I don't think this song would have been nearly as good if it was in the other X games, but it sounds amazing in this game, and it is one of the best songs of all time as far as the Mega Man series goes. Plus, it even pairs well with the beautiful dusk sky in the background, which is always nice. Volt Catfish's theme has a very similar vibe to Blast Hornet's theme, but this one is a lot less intense and I like it a little bit more. I wouldn't say this is one of the strongest contenders for good music in this game, but I still do like it for the most part and I think it's too iconic to ignore. Toxic Seahorse's theme is great and really does have the vibe that you're in a sewer fighting evil robots somehow. Once again, this is one I like a lot, but it's not going to be the best song from this game, so sorry. Crush Crawlfish's theme, on the other hand, is an undeniable banger. This is one of the best songs in the game, so it's a shame that people overlook it and say that it sounds like the TMNT title theme on the NES. I guess it kind of sounds like one specific portion from the beginning of that song, I guess, but this one is way better in every capacity. Plus, I bet Crush Crawfish would probably beat up the Ninja Turtles in a fight anyway, especially if he's fighting the NES Ninja Turtles, or as I like to call them, the Ninja Turds. Tunnel Rhino's theme is another pretty decent one that fits the stage, but doesn't really fit in my best of Mega Man X songs YouTube playlist. 
best. I don't dislike this theme at all, but it's certainly not the most memorable song from this game, unless you die to Tono Rhino over and over, I guess. Neon Tiger's theme is pretty similar in the sense of how I feel about it, but not really in how it sounds. It has similar vibes to Toxic Seahorse, where it fits the level really well, but it just seems a little bit lackluster when compared to the other Maverick themes from Mega Man X. Again, I don't dislike this theme at all, but it's certainly not the most impressive track from this game. Vile's theme, on the other hand, is extremely impressive due to how intense and crazy it is. If you were unaware, you actually have to go through a secret entrance just to hear this theme, which adds even more to the feelings you get when listening to it. It's not the best theme of all time or anything like that, and is admittedly a little bit short, but at the same time, it is a certified banger and I won't let anyone other than my subscribers say otherwise. And that's only because my subscribers get the privilege of saying whatever they want. Moving on to the Doppler Fortress though, we are of course greeted with a very intense theme that establishes the mood going forward as tradition requires. I do think this might be the weakest of all of the first Fortress stages so far, but it's far from being bad or underwhelming, so I think it's still a decent tune. It is only 30 seconds long though, which is a bit disappointing, and it does also kind of sound like Tunnel Rhino's theme vaguely, which is not doing it any favors. Unfortunately though, the next Doppler stage theme is even worse. I'm not going to call it a bad song, but I certainly don't enjoy hearing it. Granted, it does fit the vibe they're going for, which I guess is a good thing, but I miss the old Fortress themes that made me want to use a sketchy website to download the MP3s off of YouTube. The ending theme to this game is probably the best Mega Man X ending we've heard so far though, which is pretty nice. It even sounds more like the classic Mega Man ending themes we all know and love, but maybe that's why I like it so much. Regardless of how much I like this song though, it's still not the best. The best song for Mega Man X3 is actually once again Zero's theme. I know you guys might be annoyed that Zero's theme has been the best twice in a row now, but the truth hurts. Sorry. It's not my fault Zero's one of the coolest characters in all of Mega Man, and it's also not my fault that he happens to have the best theme from two thirds of the games we've covered so far. Luckily for you guys, his theme for Mega Man X1 was not as good as the rest of the X1 soundtrack, but even in that game, it was still decent. Regardless of that though, I still think Zero's theme is by far the best song from Mega Man X3. Mega Man X4 is the first game so far that's on upgraded hardware relative to the other games, but I will say, I generally prefer the first three Mega Man X game soundtrack to the later games. And I know that might be an unpopular opinion, so of course I am still going to give every track from these games a fair shot. And even though I do prefer the original trilogy soundtrack, it's undeniable that every single Mega Man X game has its fair share of bangers, so even though I might prefer the original trilogy overall, Mega Man X4 could still have a song that's better than any of those other games could ever come out with, but I guess we'll have to see for ourselves. Mega Man X4 does start off extremely strong though with an amazing intro stage theme. I'm sure you can instantly notice that this game has more of a futuristic tone using synths and stuff more so than the heavy metal tone used in the previous games. And despite what I just said about liking those other games more, I do prefer the style of this game's soundtrack for the most part, and this opening stage theme is one of the reasons why. I'm not sure how you could possibly listen to this thing on your first playthrough of X4 and not like it, so I'm just going to assume no one in the history of humanity has ever done something so ridiculous. But this is just the Mega Man X intro stage, you're actually able to choose X or Zero, and Zero has his own unique intro stage theme. I will say, I do prefer the one for X, but this one is certainly still great and maintains a feeling closer to the old games while still having the futuristic synth vibes of Mega Man X4. The stage select theme is also better than the X3 one in my opinion, making this the best stage select theme we've heard so far, but again, I do think it's just because of the change in tone that X4's soundtrack has. But let's take a listen to the Maverick theme song, starting with Web Spider. I'm sure you all know how I feel about Spider but this theme is actually fairly decent. It has a great jungle feel to it and even feels more fitting than Wired Sponge's theme which had a very similar feel. I've heard some people say that Flying Battery Zone from Sonic Mania sounds similar and it certainly does but I don't think they're nearly as close as everyone likes to pretend. Besides, even if they were, X4 did it better. Sorry Sonic fans, we all know Mega Man X is better, sorry. Cyber Peacock stage is just as fitting for the level which is pretty impressive considering how unique it is. Obviously Capcom isn't the first company to have to design a song for a cyber level, but this was before the Battle Network or Star Force games were around, so they hadn't had as much experience with it at this point. It's a pretty great theme overall, especially for what the level is, but it's far from my favorite. Magma Dragoon's theme is a fan favorite, but I've gotta say, it's not mine. I do like the song for what it is, and I think it fits the level extremely well, but in my opinion, it's just a little bit too much. I think if this theme was in Mega Man X3, for example, it might sound a little bit better, and it certainly does not sound bad by any means, but I'm just not the biggest fan of this one. Storm Owl's theme, on the other hand, 
is pretty decent. It's not crazily impressive or anything extraordinary, but I certainly do enjoy listening to it whenever I play this stage. Jet Stingray's theme, on the other hand, is a certified banger and has a similar feel to the original X games. If it wasn't for the stage being what it is, I would probably like it more, but thank goodness this song is good because if it wasn't, I think many people would be hospitalized or locked up after dealing with this level it accompanies. Split Mushroom's theme feels really similar to Storm Owls, but I'd say this one is actually a bit better. It's pretty laid back and has some cool sounds making it up, but it doesn't stand out too much from the rest of the song, so I feel like it's unfortunately easy to overlook when trying to remember your favorite Mega Man X4 song. Slash Beast theme is another banger, and it might be my favorite Maverick stage theme so far. It almost sounds like if a classic Mega Man theme was reworked in the Mega Man X4 soundtrack, but I think that's a great theme because this song is awesome. Next, we of course have Frost Walrus, who actually has two different themes. His first theme is pretty decent, and I really enjoy the ambience a lot. It of course fits the stage extremely well as well, and it's very clearly an Ice Levels theme song in every capacity. His second theme song, on the other hand, has everything the first theme has minus maybe the ambience, but this one sounds even better. I think this second theme is the one most people think of when you bring up Frost Walrus's theme, but they're both really good. The Colonel's theme is also a certified banger. This is one of the best boss battle themes in the entire series, and again, I think that can be mostly attributed to the vibe of x 4 soundtrack, but it doesn't matter either way because this song is objectively good. Next up, we have the first Space Colony theme, and this one honestly sounds very similar to X's intro stage for some reason. It doesn't sound exactly the same or anything, and this one certainly is more intense and fits the level very well, but it does remind me of X's intro stage. I, I don't know why, and that's obviously not a bad thing considering I like X's intro stage, but I just wanted to point that out. The next Space Colony theme is even better in my opinion though, as it really fits the tone of being one of the final levels the same way the original X game Sigma stages did a good job of doing. I'm not sure if I'd say this is better than the original Sigma stage songs, but it's certainly on par with them and sounds great regardless. Iris' theme is another great boss battle theme, which is something I don't think we get enough of in the Mega Man X series. It's not that most boss battle themes are bad or anything like that, they're all pretty decent, but it's rare we get one as iconic as this. Plus, it's extra good if you pay attention to the story in X4, but I know most people don't pay attention to the story in platformer games, so let's just move on. It's clear that Mega Man X4's soundtrack still holds up to the original series despite having a drastically different feel, but we still need to find the best song from this game, and in my opinion, it's surprisingly gotta be the X intro stage. I know, I know, this is probably an unpopular opinion, and you probably weren't expecting it considering I already talked about it, but that theme is just far too good. I guess it kinda sucks that the first real theme you hear in X4 is as good as it's gonna get, but I mean, you don't have to look at it like that. You could also just say that the game starts out with a bang, you pessimist. Anyway, it's moments like these that make me glad YouTube's dislikes are now hidden, because I legitimately think that X's intro stage is the best song from Mega Man X4. With the Mega Man X Legacy Collection 1 titles fully listened to, it's of course time to move on to the X Legacy Collection 2 titles, which normally do get a bad rap, but this may be the only video where they're on even footing with the original X Legacy Collection. Though, I guess we'll have to see. I mean here! Mega Man X5 has a lot of mixed reviews in terms of its gameplay, but its soundtrack is undeniably amazing. I'd go as far as to say Mega Man X5 actually has the best opening theme of any Mega Man X game, which is probably controversial, but it wouldn't be the first time on this channel. The opening stage also has another great song, and while I wouldn't say it's better than X4's, it's certainly really close. I'm not sure what else I should say about this theme, but I like it a lot, and I want to leave room in this video for it to play in the background for a little bit longer, so... Yeah. Zero's opening theme is also really good. It almost sounds like it belongs in a Sigma stage more than an opening stage theme, but that's just classic Zero for ya. The stage select theme is alright, I guess, but the second stage select theme is way better. I could be biased since I grew up playing the X Collection on the GameCube, which featured this song in the menus, but I love the second stage select song a ton. I legitimately think this is the best stage select song in any Mega Man game, not just Mega Man X. Moving on to the Mavericks though, let's start by taking a look at Dark Dizzy's theme. This one is certainly pretty pretty decent, but it honestly sounds like an ice level theme, and I'm not sure if you can tell, but this is not an ice level. Luckily for Dark Dizzy, ice levels always have good music, so that's actually a compliment. This theme is a little bit more laid back than a lot of the other themes, but in my opinion that makes it even better and fits the actual level a lot more. Matrix, or as I like to call him, Lamer Magma Dragoon, has a pretty decent theme, but I can't say it feels like a fire level. Not that that matters, of course, I still like the theme in general, but if I can't talk about how much it fits the actual level, I'm going to run other things to discuss very soon. 
This Skyverse theme is amazing. It has that classic Mega Man X style that we've all been missing out on, but it also manages to seamlessly incorporate that feeling into the newer vibe of X5 soundtrack. Again, I don't know anything about music theory, so that might not make any sense, but basically, I'm just trying to say that I like this song. The Axel the Red's theme song is a pretty decent jungle theme, and certainly the most fitting song we've heard so far, but some of the sound effects make it sound like a flash game. Like 90 to 95% of this song is great, but there's just one sound effect that they use in the background that almost makes me laugh whenever I hear it just because it reminds me of my days back on Newgrounds. Overall, this song is really good though, don't get it twisted. Duff McWhalen's theme is obviously going to be a banger because it's the remix of Bubble Crab's theme, which is one of the best songs in all of Mega Man X. I do prefer Bubble Crab's original theme a little bit more than this song, but it's not because this remix is bad or anything. It's actually a really good remix and fits both the level and this game's tone about as well as you possibly could. Also, I like Duff McWhalen because his name is Duff and everyone I've ever met named Duff is pretty cool. Izzy Glow's theme ramps up the intensity higher than we've seen so far in X5, but I'm all for it. I don't necessarily think it fits this stage at all really, but I mean, in this specific case it doesn't bother me at all just because of how great it sounds. Grizzly Slash's theme is also a masterpiece that's impossible to not like. Though I will say, this one does sound like it came out of Mega Man X4 more than X5, but again, that's obviously not a bad thing, so I don't mind at all. Squid Adler's theme is another intense banger, but we all know how awful this stage is. This is another case where if the song wasn't as good as it was, the course of humanity and Earth as we know it would be drastically different, so regardless of how you feel about this song, I think we should all be thankful, even if the first few seconds of the song have been heard infinitely more times than the rest of it. Dynamo's theme is also pretty good, but it's super chaotic and all over the place. It's not bad by any means, I mean, I literally just said it's pretty good, but it is confusing to listen to, which isn't something I feel very often while listening to Mega Man music. But it's time to move on to the Sigma stage, I mean, uh, the Zero stages. And the first Zero stage is actually the same as the second stage like theme, which normally would be something I'd complain about, but this is one of my favorite Mega Man X songs ever made, so it gets a pass. Plus, I'm not really sure if it's more fitting as a level theme or a stage select theme since it surprisingly works very well in both cases. Zero Stage 2, on the other hand, has a theme song that I feel like would be more likely to be found in an early 2000s anime or something, but it does still work here for the most part. I'm not the biggest fan of this song, especially since it has a far different move than the previous stage that worked so well, but I'm not a big enough hater to try and say this is bad, because it's not bad. Rang the Bangda's theme is also pretty good since it is just a remix of that classic Mega Man X theme, and it may be the catchiest song in the game, but it's still not my favorite. Also, I know I said earlier that Mega Man X songs didn't get remixed, but that was obviously a lie. I mean, really, I just wanted to see how many people in the comment sections would prove they did not watch the entire video, so if you're watching this and you commented saying I was wrong about the X1 remixes not being existent, uh, I bet you look dumb now. Haha. <laughs> if you see a comment like that, laugh at them, guys. If you see a comment pointing that out, laugh at them. This was a prank. A social experiment, if you will. Anyway, that song is not my favorite. My favorite theme is something I'm sure most of you will actually agree with for once being the X versus Zero theme. Again, I do apologize for now having three-fifths of this video be about Zero's themes being the best, but it's not my fault Capcom gave him all the best tracks, I'm sorry. The tone this song sets is perfect and makes for an amazing boss battle that luckily is not too hard. I have a hard time deciding whether or not this song is better than the versus Zero theme from Mega Man X2, but both of these could be contenders for the best Mega Man X song of all time, but I guess we'll have to cover that in another video. Either way, I'm not sure how anyone is going to try to claim any song is better than this one, but I'm sure I'll see some people try in my comment section. Believe me. Luckily for me, I don't read my comment section, so I'm hereby declaring X vs. Zero's theme as the best song from Mega Man X5. Mega Man X6 is the most controversial Mega Man game we've taken a look at so far, and its soundtrack is also the most unique. A lot of the songs have more metal inspirations than X4 and X5, and despite not being a huge fan of metal, I do thoroughly enjoy the majority of the songs from X6 somehow. The opening stage, for example, does not really have much metal in it other than the robots, obviously, but it's one of my favorites already. It's super laid back and doesn't really fit the stage all that much, but it's still great to listen to, and it's certainly worth being added to your best of Mega Man X music playlist on your old iPod shuffle. Apparently in the Japanese version and in the Legacy Collection there aren't any guitars in this song though, which is weird and a rare North American W. The stage select theme is also great and only second to the one from Mega Man X5, but that's not really fair. This stage select theme also is present in the X Collection menu, so again, I might be biased, but it's very clearly the best default stage select theme song we have ever heard in Mega Man X, but that is understandably overlooked by the people who actually played Mega Man X. Moving on to the Maverick themes though, let's start with Commander Yamark. This is another very laid back theme, similar to the intro stage 
stage, but this one has a more nature-y vibe to it, which is great considering what kind of stage this is. And I feel like most of the songs in Mega Man X6 are underrated, but this one more specifically is to me because I think this is better than Wire Sponge's theme and Web Spider's theme by a country mile. Not to be confused with a regular mile, of course. Shield Sheldon's theme is also pretty good, and it has a super funky guitar, which is my favorite part of this whole thing. I will say though, this is one of the weaker songs in X6, and since it is still pretty good, that should tell you how I feel about this soundtrack for the most part. Ice Wolfang's theme is the token ice theme from this game, but good grief, it has no business being as epic as it is. Most of the time when ice level themes get overzealous, they end up losing the feel of being an ice level, but this one breaks that stereotype and manages to be one of the most epic sounding songs on the PlayStation 1 while still making it clear to the listener that Mega Man could use a jacket. Rainy Turtle Always theme is another really good one that's always fun to kick back and take a listen to. I wouldn't necessarily call this song a banger, but I definitely would not call it bad, since, you know, it's not bad. Ground Scarvich's theme is the first intense song we've had to listen to so far from Mega Man X6, but it still sounds great. It almost reminds me of like a Playboy Cardi sample that was sped up or something, but I'm sure most of you have no idea what I just said. Speaking of intensity though, Blaze Heatnix is now the leading example of how to make an intense song without overdoing it. This is literally as intense as you could possibly make a song for a video game without it sounding too noisy. This song also makes Matrix and Magma Dragoon's theme sound like they belong in an old school Baby Einstein DVD. Despite all of that though, it's still not my favorite. I obviously really like it though. Metal Shark Player's theme sounds like it belongs in some kind of cinematic movie soundtrack at first with an extremely triumphant intro before getting into a more traditionally sounding Mega Man X song. This song doesn't stand out too much, but it's still fun to listen to and I enjoy it every time I play inside of this trash compactor. I do think it is a little weird that it sounds like two songs in one, but there's nothing wrong with that unless you have short-term memory loss, in which case you might get confused. Infinity Majinia's theme may be the single most epic Mega Man X song of all time. However the heck Capcom managed to make a song sound like this for a Mega Man X level is beyond me, but I think the majority of Mega Man X fans, including myself, are grateful. You might also think at first that only the intro is epic and that surely it'll die down a bit as it goes, but nope, this song stays just as epic the entire time and is probably the single biggest reward you could ever receive for playing Mega Man X6. I guess they made this track as epic as it is because of the giant robot thing in the background, but at this point, I don't care why Capcom did it, I'm just glad they did. Nightmare Zero's theme, on the other hand, is literally just the X versus Zero theme from X5, which is cool, I guess, but it feels a bit lazy. I mean, Dynamo got his own brand new theme, so I'm not sure why Zero didn't. Unfortunately, Dynamo's new theme is not the greatest thing I've ever heard in my life, but I will at least say it is better than the one from X5. I do also want to point out that the Mission Clear theme sounds pretty cool. It's not the most impressive song from this game at all, obviously, but it's surprisingly one of the ones I remembered the most after beating the game. Maybe it's just because you hear it a lot, now that I think about it, but whatever. Gates' laboratory theme, or, or uh, his laboratory theme, is a more intense version of Mega Man X2's song from earlier, and it's certainly a good one, but again, the original song is just a lot better. I do think the remix is more fitting for Mega Man X6 in general than the original song would have been, so I am glad they remade it, but at the same time, I'm not sure why they wouldn't just make an original song at this point. High Max's theme is also intense as they find the high max for the amount of notes you could possibly fit in one song per second, and the guitar solo goes crazy in the background. Gate's first and second themes are also both pretty cool, but they aren't really my favorite. They obviously fit Mega Man X6's general soundtrack style, as well as the boss battle, but for me, it's just a little bit too much. The ending theme is also pretty decent, and dare I say, one of the best we've heard so far. This ending theme seems to do the best job of mixing the vibes from both the classic series ending themes, as well as Mega Man X's general feel, which I really do appreciate. But regardless of how much I appreciate it, it is far from my favorite song, because as you probably could have guessed, my favorite song is Infinity Majinian's theme. I mean, this one to me at least is obvious, but can you really blame me? Sure, there are several other songs in Mega Man X6 that are amazing and close to this one, but getting close to this song is as good as any of those other songs are ever going to get. I can't describe to you the feelings I had when I played the stage for the first time and my ears were filled with these sound waves, so instead of trying to do that, I'm just gonna declare Infinity Majinian's theme as the best song from Mega Man X6. Mega Man X7 may be potentially the worst game in the entire series, but does its soundtrack match its gameplay reputation? Well, I can't say I particularly like this soundtrack, but let's take a look at what it has to offer. As far as the title theme goes, not much. This sounds more like a console booting up than a title theme, but I guess it isn't bad. The opening theme is a bit better, but to be honest, the style of the majority of X7's tracks just doesn't hit the same compared to the other X games. Once you get to the highway portion of the opening level, the music does get a bit better, but it's still not my cup of tea. 
tea. I don't know whose cup of tea it is, but someone should really drink that. It's getting cold. Obviously, that's all subjective, so I'm not going to spend this entire entry crying about how X7's style of music is not my favorite, but just keep this in mind as the video goes on, because I'm totally not going to bring it up again. Trust me, I would never do that. I also wouldn't lie to you guys. Moving on to the Mavericks, though, let's start with Flame Hyenard. The majority of people have never heard this song due to suppressing their memories of Burn to the Ground, but it's surprisingly a pretty decent track. It's still not on the same level as the other X games, but this one at least feels like a Mega Man X song, I guess. Vanishing Gungaroo Stage also has a surprisingly decent theme song. It's a little noisy and all over the place, but overall, I do enjoy listening to this one. Parts of it even start to sound like Axel the Red's theme from Mega Man X5 if you listen for long enough, which is great considering X5 has a much better soundtrack. Tornado Tunya's theme is actually pretty good, especially when considering who Tornado Tunyon is. This track also has more X6 vibes, which I do enjoy a lot. Splash Warfly's theme is also pretty decent, but it doesn't really sound like a water theme at all. Of course, that doesn't really matter as long as the song is good, but it would have been nice if it did feel like a water stage. Soldier Stone Kong theme is not half bad at first, but once you get to the drop, it gets way better. It's not my favorite song in the game, obviously, but this is one that I actually would not mind listening to outside of Mega Man X, though it does help that this is the only fully 2D stage in this entire game. Wind Crow Wings theme, on the other hand, has the worst intro I've ever heard in my life. I have pretty bad depth perception when it comes to 3D platformers, so I fall off these planes a lot, meaning the song resets constantly and drives me absolutely crazy. If I didn't die as much on this stage, I might not hate this intro, but I legitimately cannot stand it. I will say, though, once the intro part goes away, this song gets significantly better. Snipe Anteater Stage, on the other hand, is pretty decent for the most part. It clearly fits the stage it was designed for a lot better than most of the other songs from this game, and it also stands out from the rest due to not being super cluttered and noisy. Ride Borski's theme is alright, I guess, but it feels a bit generic until it gets to that one part, but it's very easy to forget about, especially since the stage is so unique. The first Sigma stage, I mean, a uh, Palace Road stage, has a song that's pretty hard to hate on, but it's also pretty hard to remember like the majority of X7 songs. Crimson Palace Stage 1 has a theme that wants to be good so bad, but it's just too noisy for me to give it that honor. There are a couple of parts where the overdrived guitar and the drums are muted, and that is by far the best part of this song. It has a lot of substance and the composition is great, but when all the instruments come together, it just doesn't sound good to me. I wish it did, but it don't. Crimson Palace Stage 2 has a pretty cool theme, and it certainly is not too cluttered or noisy, but it never goes anywhere. I do like the ambience, of course, and when I listen to it, I keep expecting it to eventually evolve into something else, but it just never does. It's just these creepy ambient noises the entire time, which to be fair, is certainly fitting for this boss rush stage, but at the same time, I think Capcom could have done better. Axel's actual theme song, on the other hand, is actually pretty decent, and one of the best songs in this game, and it's because the instruments actually sound and feel coherent together. It's not the best song ever made, or even close to it. I mean, it's probably not even in the top 50 Mega Man X songs ever made, but I guess we'll have to cover that in another video. The boss battle theme is even better, though. I could be wrong, but I think this theme was either used or remixed in Mega Man X Command Mission X, which actually has much better music than this game, but that's not why I like it. This song is genuinely just decent, and it feels like a Mega Man X song, which is all I've wanted this entire time. It doesn't feel like a Mega Man X boss battle theme song, but that's asking for too much. Anyway, I'm getting tired of looking at Mega Man X 7 gameplay, so it's time to wrap this up by letting you guys know that the real best song from this game is actually the revealing theme, which by no coincidence was also in Mega Man X Command Mission X. I'm not sure why the entire game didn't sound like this, but they really missed out, because Capcom basically proved to everyone that they could make a decent sounding Mega Man X 7 track without it sounding too cluttered, and then they proceeded to not do that for the majority of the game. Again, it is all subjective, so if you love Mega Man X 7 soundtrack, that's totally fine, and I'm not going to make fun of you as long as you're a subscriber, but to me, the revealing theme is by far the best song from Mega Man X7. Mega Man X8 is probably the Mega Man X game I know the least about, so be prepared for me to say some wild things. The title theme is a pretty good start, and it gives me the feeling that this soundtrack is going to be a lot like X7's, but properly mixed. The intro stage also gives some good first impressions, but if anything, it seems like a little much for what's going on. Like, the music would lead you to believe you're on some kind of fire level with difficult platforming and challenging enemy placements when really you're in the easiest stage in the entire game. Moving on to the Mavericks, though, let's start off with Optic Sunflower. Some of the Mavericks have two themes, including 
using Optic Sunflower, but instead of making this video an extra 20 minutes long, I'm just going to talk about my favorite iteration from each stage. The first part of Optic Sunflower's theme is great, but once it changes to the other one, it gets a lot better. It's far from my favorite, but it's certainly a lot better than what most of X7 had to offer. And thank goodness for that, because I was going crazy. Like, do you guys really like X7's theme? I've heard people like the OST for that game, despite the gameplay, but I really don't. I don't understand you guys sometimes. I still love you guys if you're subscribed, but you, you guys are crazy. Gravity and Tunyon's theme, on the other hand, is just straight up good. It's been a while since I've been able to say that, so thank you, Gravity and Tunyon. Here's some chocolate milk. Dark Mantis's theme is all right if you get caught, but while you're sneaking around, I think it's a lot better. It's not the craziest or most memorable song from this game, but I think it sets the mood very well, and it almost sounds like the main theme from Plague Inc. And I do like that game, so that is a good thing. Gigabolt Man of War's theme is also really refreshing to hear, and it's just a nice touch to the game overall. I have nothing against heavy metal or metal at all, as you can see by how much I generally like the Mega Man X soundtrack, but every now and then you do need some time to relax and catch your breath, so I think this song is super nice. Burn Rooster's theme is pretty cool as long as you're descending. It's probably one of the most fitting songs for a level in this game, as I'm sure even a caveman would be able to figure out that this is for a fire level theme, but this song still is not my favorite. Avalanche Yeti's theme is pretty cool, but I don't like how it sounds nothing like an ice level. It's not bad, of course, but it's so insanely intense that it's almost funny. Almost. Earth Rock Trilobite's theme is pretty cool once that giant robot overheats, and I feel like it almost sounds like an X6 song, but I don't know. It's far from my favorite, but it still gets a pass just for sounding like X6, which isn't something I expected to say in this video. Bamboo Pandemonium's theme, on the other hand, I genuinely like, especially at the beginning. I'm not sure what it is with ambience, but I like it a lot. Unfortunately, it only lasts for a few seconds before the rest of the song, but it's alright too, I guess. The actual Maverick boss fight theme is also surprisingly really good. Once again, the intro is the best part, which is disappointing, but this is probably one of the best songs in all of Mega Man X8, which is pretty weird. I did say one of the best though, meaning it's not the actual best. The real best song from Mega Man X8 is actually the ending theme. This is obviously a drastic shift in tone from literally every other song in this game, but that's why I like it. It is super fitting for being the ending theme for what may be the last Mega Man X game to ever release. And as disappointing as that is to hear, it may end up becoming a reality if Capcom decides the Battle Network series is more profitable, which it does appear to be. I wouldn't listen to this song in a car ride or anything, but this song had the most emotional impact out of any song from this game, which has got to count for something, right? Plus, this is a pretty fitting song for the end of the video since it's the ending theme and the video is ending. You get it, right? Right, 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 right. Anyway, as sad as it is to listen to this song in the context of it being the final song of the final Mega Man X game to ever release, the ending theme is the best song from Mega Man X8. Those were the best songs from every Mega Man X game, X through X8. As always, I hope you guys all enjoyed, and if you didn't, then I hate you, and you probably stink.